What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. I'm Isaiah. As you may have gathered from the thumbnail and the title of the video, we're going to be playing another game of Forbidden Psalm today. And the mission, oddly enough, is also called Forbidden Psalm. Before we take a look at the board and talk about the scenario and all that good stuff, I just want to take a second, throw out a big shout out, a huge thank you to our newest Patreon supporter, JT Atwell. We appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for showing support. If you would like to also show some support, check out the links down in the bio or maybe just simply hit the subscribe or the like button or leave a comment if you like the video or even if you don't like it and you think I suck. That's cool too. You're entitled to your opinion. Either way, Let's go take a look at the board, talk about the scenario, and get into this game of Forbidden Song. This is going to be our board for Forbidden Song. Not the game, well, the game, yes, but the mission is called Forbidden Song. So we have a great mall in the very middle of the table that has the Forbidden Song. And I have to kill it and dig the Forbidden Psalm out of its belly and retrieve it. The game goes until somebody, until I leave with the Psalm, piece of scripture, or until everybody's dead. At the beginning of each round in solo on a five plus, a random monster will appear. And when you attack the mall, it has a special rule that on a, there's a, if it, it'll try to swallow you. If it doesn't swallow you, there's a one in 10 chance that it had already swallowed something else, a random monster, which it will spit back up. We have four treasure tokens spaced within the center six inch strip at least three inches apart. I'm deployed up to six inches on this edge, and we're gonna get into it. We'll lead off with Susie, who's gonna go ahead and try to flaming hands the Great Maul. Five is a failure. The rest of my movement's looking like this. We got three double moves between El Bobo, Oselt, and the Distress Cold, all of them just moving to get on those treasure tokens. Thazic the Unbuttered, however, does double move up into the enemy. And we'll see what that enemy does, if he can hit me or not. He cannot hit me. I get to swing back at him at a minus three. I also cannot hit him on the crackback, however. And then we go to the next turn. Where we're going to see if a monster shows up, which I think I forgot to do on the first turn. It does not show up. Start off with Thazit the Unbuttered taking a swing at the Great Maul. Hits with a 20. He's got a D10 on that. I'm going to use my Omen right there to do max damage, which with his armor 3 will be 7. It then gets to crack back at me at a minus 3. 6, my it does not hit me. That is fortunate we've got to see if it spits out a monster from where it took damage it does not it's only on a one that that happens so then we got the rest of my crew doing stuff too I'll be rolling to pick up their treasure so for el bobo he gets his for oselt she gets hers and for the distress cold Ooh, he does not get his he will take a damage. Those two pick up. So El Bobo finds 15. One random unclean scroll. We'll see what that is in just a second. And Oselt finds a 16, which is 10 gold. We'll take it. So we got 10 gold and an unclean scroll. So the unclean scrolls of heathen magic. Getting a 9, which is ride the lightning. Produce a lightning strike and lightning and strikes a target within 12 inches. Susie is going to move over five. Try to flame hands that great maul. She, oh, wait a minute now. She's got a pretty good presence. 12. That'll do it. That will do it. Nine plus three is 12. That's going to be D6 and it's cruel, which means it'll always do at least one damage. Six. Minus three for armor three. That is enough to kill that great maul. Let's go. Uh, the forbidden scroll will drop here. Just to make sure, let's see if there's a, if it had something still stuck down in its gut. Another two. It does not. Monsters on the field. We'll go to the next turn. Two, so no new monsters will join us. The distress cold is going to try to get into this treasure box again. 
As soon as I find my D20, he does not. You know what? I'm going to use my omen to auto pass the test. There we go. And then we'll see what we get. A 10. Six gold. Selt, who has a massive movement of eight, is just going to double move from here to there. I know that she doesn't have enough movement to get there in a single movement. That's definitely more than eight inches, but I know that she's got it in a double move. Thazic will pick up the scroll. Susie will fall back to here. El Bobo will move in six this way because if a monster does come, it's going to come on one of the edges. So we want to pull back to the middle of the board. Because I'm going to make sure I get all these treasures before I get out of here. Now that I, since I made such quick work of the Great Mall, I was terrified of that thing. It wasn't that bad. Next turn, let's see if we get a monster. Oh, we do get a monster. To the random encounters table. 20. Number four. Skeleton. Left side or right side? Right side at the well, inch. Or no, the fourth inch well, is going to open her box. Yes, she is. And she's going to get a 19. That's pretty good. Getting one sentence from the Forbidden Psalms. Okay. So I get another one of those. Sweet. Susie is going to move up her five and try to harvest that great maw. That is a failure. Bobo, what the hay? We'll move up and try to harvest himself. He is minus one to the roll. He fails. I have a re-roll still. Yes, I do. I'm going to use it here. Oh, even worse. You got to take a morale test or run away. He passes his morale test, though. Let's go. To check if that skeleton was an archer. It was not. That's great, because I don't currently really own any skeleton archers. Or, no, I take that back. I have some. I don't have them painted. My friend here can see Ocelt, and we'll move 2d6 towards her. Eight inches. That'll get it there. And then it will make a fight. It misses. Ocelt gets to swing back. 13 minus 3 and plus 5 will hit with the Vampiric Short Sword. For two damage, and they have armor one, so one turn. We'll go to the next round. No monster comes in. That's beautiful. Uh, Ocelt's going to go ahead and swing at the skeleton. Miss. Nothing that I can do about it. Skeleton swings back. Hit. No, does not hit because minus three on the crackback. Beautiful. The distressed cold is going to move in and take a swing. Plus his strength of two because of his weapon. Yes, that will hit. And he's got a great axe. I'm just going to hit for D Tizzle. 10 for two, minus one, one damage. She's going to try to harvest this organ again, which she does that time. So she'll pick up that organ. That'll be five gold that I'm going to get when I sell it to Ripper. Azic can get into the fight, but can't really do much else. El Bobo double moves over to here. Susie will double move this way. She's got 10 inches of movement on a double move, so I know she can get there. Also, that skeleton gets to crack back at the Distress Cold. And misses. Monster phase. Skeleton will swing at, we'll go one, two, three, up the line. One will swing at the Distress Cold. And hits. Sword does a D6. Four damage, plus one for my brittle bones, five damage, and minus one, I think, for my armor one with my light armor. So I'll take four damage there. I'm then going to swing back at him with my crack back and miss. That's okay. We'll go to the next turn. We'll see if another monster spawns. It does not. Still just the skelly. And we're going to just go to beating on this thing with Ocel. Hits. Come on, Vampiric Short Sword. Do the job. Three. Minus one would be two damage. And they have six health. Misses. Drops its weapon. Because it fumbles. Outstanding. With 
Fazic the Unbuttered taking a swing. He hits. He's got a D10 with his weapon. That'll finish off the skeleton. And then El Bobo's just going to move off the board. Just going to move right off that edge right there. Susie is also going to move off that edge right there. We'll go to the next turn. We'll see if a monster spawns. It does not. And then everyone else will proceed to move off that table edge. So this is going to be a pretty healthy, pretty hefty payday for the Flamingo Five. Or the, yeah, the Flamingo Fist for the Flamingo Fist. That's our new name. So let's get to our post game, see what we're going to get. I don't get. think I want that. If it's supposed to be plus one damage, and that's just maybe a typo, let me know, but that doesn't sound good. So we're not going to, we're just not going to fiddle faddle with any of that. But that's, and that, which means, which means that that's going to do it for today's game of Forbidden Song. Thanks so much for tuning in, hanging out while I rolled some dice today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day and as always i'd like to say a big huge from the bottom of my heart thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on patreon you guys are the absolute best if you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel go over there check out the link in the description check out the patreon there's a lot of cool stuff over there including access to our discord server talk to me hang out with me talk about our work what we got going on in the hobby um some shout outs all kinds of cool stuff check it out if that's something that you think you would be into and regardless of whether or not you do that i want you to know that i am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.